The dandelions are out and we're so excited. They are everywhere once you start noticing them. And we're going to show you how to make three quick recipes using every single part of the dandelion. How to make a dandelion coffee. Wow! Okay, dandelion root. If you struggle with coffee, like me, and you want to reduce your caffeine, then dandelion root is amazing because you can make coffee with the grounds. Dandelion literally means in French, lion's teeth. It's a really good way to identify your dandelion because it looks like teeth. In French, you say pissenlit. And pissenlit literally means to pee in beds. And the reason why we say that, it's because it's diuretic. So it's a really good plant in the springtime to basically detoxify your body, purify your blood. Right, best time to harvest your dandelion is in springtime, but also in autumn for the root. You can also forage the root in springtime. Make sure to thoroughly wash your root. Make sure you separate everything, so the leaves, the root and the flowers. You might end up with uh, some baby uh, buds which were supposed to go into flower, but we've picked them. So in order to not waste them, you can make a pickle and pickle the buds and it's delicious. We are going to dehydrate our roots in the dehydrator, but if you don't have a dehydrator, don't worry. Just use the oven, lower setting, door slightly open uh, for a couple of hours and then we'll roast it. Now the roots are slightly shrunk and they are ready to go in the oven for about half an hour until it's proper roasted. Proper, proper roasted. Okay, now that it's fully roasted, we're gonna grind this up. Mmm, nutty, coffee, planty. Put it in a cafeteria like normal coffee. Mmm, earthy, nutty. A little hint of coffee. Cheers. Here's how to make dandelion flower liquor. We all remember blowing dandelion seeds in the summertime as a child, but actually dandelion in springtime is the best time to find it, to eat it and to consume it. Uh, the leaves, the flower, the buds, and the roots. It's considered as a weed, but it's not a weed. We're gonna be using the dandelion flowers. We are going to take the petals off and put everything into a sterilized jar so then it can infuse for a week or two with some vodka. This is now going in a cupboard as dark as possible for about a week or two. So this is what I made earlier. Once it's infused, we've strained the flowers. Okay, now it's time to make our simple syrup. We want two parts of sugar and one part of water. Heat on a low heat until the sugar's dissolved and then it's going to become a nice simple syrup, syrup, syrup. Once the syrup is cooled down, then you can just pour it over your dandelion. There you have your liquor. Oof. Cheers to a nice dandelion gin tonic. This dandelion frittata is an absolute killer. So frittata is an Italian omelette and we want to make a very nice green, spring green frittata. So I'm blanching the leaves for a few seconds. So I'm removing the excess water. I'm adding some oat milk, but you can add normal milk, some salt in there and some pepper. I'm whisking the egg all together. Pour this mixture over the egg. Oh wow! It's proper green. Right, so we're frying off garlic in the pan with a generous amount of oil. So first you want to fry this on the hob. Don't touch anything, just make sure the edges are sticking to the pan. This will go in the oven for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. Wow. <laughs> oh, I heard the noise. 